Hey guys, it's Kyle down here at LunaCycle. Today I'm going to talk to you about the regenerative braking function on the Talaria bikes and more specifically the variable regen lever on the Talaria MX-5. So all Talarias have a regen braking function. Um, you control it on the display. This little bottom right number here is your regen setting. So when you're in level one, the bike's going to coast really far. When you're in two, the rear wheel will slow you down when you're not giving throttle. Three will slow you down more, and four will aggressively slow you down when you let off the throttle. The regen only works when the battery is below 90%, and that's to keep the battery from getting overcharged. Whenever you're regening, it puts some electricity back into the battery. Um, and then on, when you're down below seven miles an hour, it disables itself too, so you can push the bike without the motor fighting you. Um, on the MX-5, you do have this nice little variable regen lever. So this lever works when you select level one on your display and you can control exactly how much regen you get. So you push this a little bit and your rear wheel slows down a tiny bit. You push it a lot and you get full level four regen, which will aggressively slow down the bike. Now, this lever is in its OEM position and many guys are complaining that you can't quite get your thumb over the start button on the throttle and it kind of interferes with it. So I'm going to show you a few different spots where you can put this lever to make it more ergonomic for you. And Talaria went ahead and thought about this. They put a hinge on this. Um, so it's super easy to change positions of the regen lever. You don't need to take the grips off. Um, and it makes it super easy with only one tool. So one very ergonomic way to put this is to just flip this over. So grab yourself a tiny little three mil and you're going to just open up the hinge. Just go ahead and back this bolt all the way out. And you'll see this little lever splits in half and you can actually just run this upside down. And if you tighten it down in this position, again, you only want to go two newton meters of torque on this because this is just the plastic hinge and you can see here now it's not interfering with the throttle start button it's it's a little more ergonomic that way um, and I know several people have slid everything down where they'll move your light switch your display and your brake over this will work great if you have bigger hands but let me show you how far everything moves and I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite way to do this. So let's see how far everything goes. If, if we put the regen lever here, then our light switch, then our display. And unless you have really big hands, it's going to be very hard to hit the eco sport button. It's going to be very hard for you to change the levels. Um, I'll go ahead and show you my favorite position now, which is where we actually swap the display over to the right side of the handlebars and put the regen lever where the display was. If you're going to be moving the display or the regen lever to the other side, you may need to cut a zip tie just to be sure none of these wires get tangled up. And Tolari made this easy. You don't need to, to remove your grip. All right, now when swapping from one side to the other, you don't want to just run your lever over here. You do need to fish the harness to the other side of the fork leg. Otherwise, when you turn the handlebars, it's gonna put pressure on this wire. So we can go ahead and route it right here. You could put it upside down where it'll be really close to the grip. But then again, if you don't have really big hands, it's going to be hard to press the Eco Sport button. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite spot. I'm going to leave the light switch here. I'm going to put the regen lever here. And I'm going to actually move the display over here and you'll see how easy and how clean everything looks. And because we're switching sides, I'm going to go ahead and 
switch the side that the wire goes through on the fork. I don't want any of these wires to get pulled out. Once you have the wire routed on the right side of the fork, go ahead and install your display in between the brake and the throttle. And don't forget to tighten down any of the brakes. Don't forget to tighten down your brakes if these were moved. Don't forget to tighten down your light switch if you moved that. And you can see here, you have your regen lever nice and close to the grip. You also have your display with your Eco Sport button nice and close to the grip. And you should be good to go. So now it's time to get out there and ride.